<laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to check out Dreamcatcher's album. This is the uh, limited edition one. And um, but first, let me put a special shout out to Dreamcatcher, Dreamcatcher's company. Um, everything because they got first place even show champion themselves um the, the staffs like i heard that they you know uh supported them and cried and everything like i mean this was a well deserved long overdue win for dreamcatcher they should have won long long a long time ago since the debut like you know they've always been a strong group great vocals like there's nothing that they couldn't do and so you know when i saw them I show champion online I just I mean I didn't react to it and I'm glad I didn't because I, I kind of like teared up <laughs> um, but yeah it was it was super good uh, and cr crazy enough their encore stage their vocals just shine through like like I've heard a lot of encore stages and I don't know it, this is just my opinion but I feel like Dreamcatcher like did the best on core stage like you can hear their strong vocals even while they're crying like they're so their voices are just so stable you know it's it's just crazy it's just great um but enough of that let's try to get them there some more wins um i think what is it the show is the next one that they can win in um i mean we already you know know the whole controversies with the show and stuff but i mean hey you know maybe they'll win who knows um i hope they do uh, so we'll start voting, keep voting, keep streaming, and uh, let's just get right onto the unboxing and album listening, actually, because I actually held off in trying to listen to all the their other songs because I wanted to unbox the album and then listen to it with all of you guys. So here we go. Yo, their concept this time around is fire i mean i always like their concepts they always have cool unique concepts but this one's just really cool i really like the whole apocalyptic apocalyptic you know feel and you know the whole message behind um you know saving the earth and environment and you know all that stuff uh so here goes the cover side uh back full album too like they were busy Busy. This is has like a, a magnetic closure to it, so it's pretty cool. Very nice. Ooh, what is this? Got a we get a cork. Um, what does it say on it? Apocalypse, like a corp cork uh beverage holder. This is really nice. I would actually use this right now. Ooh, I already see the photo cards. Oh man. Oh. Um. Yeah, it was already laid on top, so. I'm just have to show you guys right now. So first up, it's kind of hard to see who this is. Oh, you yawn. Oh, my bias. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, who else we got? We got Sua. Oh, I should have showed it to you guys first. Sua. Her hair is so fiery. Matches with the dress. Really cool. And Dami. So dope. Oh, well, they have a little message in the back too. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a message in the back. Here, uh, oh, this one has the diff the other back. And what is this one? Oh, Yu Yuan has a message too. Yay! This is awesome. All right, uh, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we have. Uh, paper, oh, pop-up, who is it, who is it, who is it, Dami, oh, snap, this is really cool, this is so cool, that is super cool, I like that they included all these neat little things in here, uh, we have, oh, these looks like, like holographic, um, Postcards. Ooh, I'm gonna open this one up. I want to be gentle too because I want to keep them in the best possible shape forever. 
No money, you know what I mean? So, here we go. Uh, here goes one of them. Love that it's holographic. Y'all know how I feel about holographic. I don't know if y'all do, but I don't know if y'all know, but yeah, I love holographic stuff. Very cool. Uh, you, you yawn in front of the portal. G you in front of the portal. So I'm, I'm guessing they're all gonna be like in front of these portals. Oh, in different, different angles and stuff. Handong. Um, 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 Xion. There, there you go. Oh, Xion's about to hop in that portal. Let's see here. Siwa. Dami. Dami looks a little different. Not in a bad way, though. She just looks a little different. So cool. This is so cool. I love the holographicness of this. So cool, love it. All right, I'm gonna put this back in real quick. All right, and next up is, uh, I'm not sure if this is the, oh, this is the uh, photo book, I believe. Oh yeah, this is, oh, this is a thick photo book, guys. This is the back, this is the front. Uh, I realize this is like a, a S. Yeah, it's a, it's a S with the, with their, with the globe on it. Let's pop it open real quick. Uh, probably not gonna go through all of it just because, you know, it's so, so thick with a lot of images. Ooh, how y'all feel about Yuyon's hair? I think it's really cool and unique. I haven't really seen anything like that before. With the where you would, you know, color the back of it and leave the front. Very cool. Really like this. Whoa, this is so cool. On. I just kind of flip through this. So angelic right here. So angelic. Wow. Very. They all look like Greek goddesses. I mean, you see the pillars and stuff. Really cool. Handong. Really like her with her head, red hair. Very cool. I think I have that photo of Dami just now. Uh, just popped away. Yeah, I think that pop-up photo of Dami was this one right here. <laughs> really cool. Gaion about to eat her necklace just now. Just kidding. Very cool. Very like the aesthetics so much. What is this one? Oh, more apocalyptic ish. Very cool. Whoa. I was wondering what she was eating just now. Yo, I didn't see you on you, you hair like this. Whoa, styled in this way. It looks so dope. Dami looking cool. Of course, of course. Dami is cool. Guy on. Alright, and we got the, uh, the the lyrics and the songs at the end. Very cool. Very awesome. Really enjoying this unboxing. How do you guys like it so far? So glad I got it. Got it at my local uh, K-pop store called Dream K-pop. K-pop Dream. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Hope they're not watching. Okay. Let's see what else we have in here. Uh, I think this is the folded mini poster. That comes with... Yep. 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 Ooh. Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. It's only one side. Dang. Looks dope. This is so cool. Man. Yeah. This is like top three song right here. And here goes the uh, the disc. Really love the design they, they put through their disc. It's very cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and repackage this, pop up the uh, their music, and we're gonna have to go through the, each one of their songs that I haven't heard yet, which is everything besides my son. This is so cool. All right, we're back, guys, and I'm all set up and ready. This is off of the Dreamcatcher channel, and we are going to start off with the intro. Save us. Let's get started in three, two, one. My nose is so itchy. Sounds like an apocalypse, all right. 
organ. Alright. Building this up for us. That's cool. What a cool intro. Ooh, ooh, ooh before we start. Oh, and there's no lyrics. All right. You know what? I'm going to have to pull up the lyrics right now. All right, I have it pulled up. Let's get started in three, two, one. Feel like I locked inside the door. Cause so get me mad and say, come down and say, what's your body? Like this. I like this. Vocal is amazing. Oh, Han Handong's vocals, oh my god. This was amazing too. They're all amazing. Loving this jazzy-ness. Not gonna lie, I haven't really been reading the actual words because I've been enjoying <laughs> Shion, whoa. I like it when Dami sing raps. I'm gonna try to read the words now. really enjoyed this song a lot. It's so catchy. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I tried reading it and I still had a hard time figuring out what it was about. <laughs> I mean, I just keep getting distracted with just how amazing they sound, you know, like, I, whenever I listen to music, I don't, that's like, lyrics is one of the last things I actually like comprehend when I listen to it I try to listen to the songs like as a whole like just how it sounds um, the rhythm and how I feel with it and how I groove with it that's just me unfortunately and especially since you know I don't even this is a whole nother language that I don't even know it makes it even harder to try to focus on what the words mean one second sorry guys I thought I heard something in the house um, but yeah so we already know 
Mason, my Mason, Mason. So uh, we're gonna go on to the next song on their playlist, which is called Starlight. And before I start that up, I am gonna try to figure out what the lyrics are. I'm probably not going to even be able to comprehend it, but I'll try my best. All right, so we're gonna get started in three, two, one. Hmm, it's like a classic EDM song. I like it already. Their vocals are so amazing. Already loving the build up. I'm loving this song. As like a this has like a retro vibe with EDM in it. It's uh, I love this. Hundum's voice, guys. And G's perfect at the chorus right here. Dami rap singing. So many layers right there at the end. It sounds amazing. All right, all right I'm just gonna say right now, say it right now, that is probably gonna be my favorite B side in the whole album. I'm gonna say that right now. Actually, no, I can't say that right now. I can't say that right now because, because for the fact that there's just still so many songs, like, I, I can't say that. I can't say that. We're gonna have to figure it out at the very end. But as of right now, it is my favorite song of the album currently it's your favorite b-side so i'm just putting the lyrics right now for it together uh the the previous song looked like it was like you know like they're talking about like another person or even uh us insomnias um and that we're they're shining light um it's kind of like a love song i think uh but i mean it could be a love song but it could be i don't know about us insomnias too all right, we got together, and we're gonna start it in three, two, one. This sounds like a fun song. Mm. 
That first one was Dami, guys. The song. Oh, I know I'm gonna love the song too. It sounds like almost like a 90s pop song. Loving it so far. Okay, this is. I love this song. Oh my god. That's like another song that's either about another relationship or relationship with insomnias. I love how this part sounds. You know, Dami's singing voice fits perfectly with this song, like just how it goes, it flows so well. Gion killed it right there. I love this song. this all right so another song that's man okay so this song and the last song are like retro but in two different ways I, uh, the previous song had like more retro edm-ish vibes and i think the retro part of it, it was like uh kind of like an 80s ish while this one's more like a 90s pop vibe and hits me in another way and i, I would love it i love them both i can't even if you're gonna make me pick i can't pick which one would be my favorite b-side i'll be honest those two are like up there right now this one i feel like um together i feel like i'm gonna have to uh it's one of those songs that i would like to just drive and chill at night kind of song like it's getting the feels and just you know just jam out while driving in a nice night kind of song oh man they have different songs that hits different types of genres and i love it like they, they can pull off anything to be honest with you guys all right. Well, let's uh, let's look up always lyrics and yeah. Side note: I saw them do it, the cover to uh, something by Girls Day. Um, they were so good. Like, they were like the whole group was super good. And they fit the fit the whole concept so well. Like. It shows how, you know, diverse they are. It's really good. 
All right, let's see how always sounds in three, two, one. And slower. Nice piano melody. Looking at the lyrics real quick, looks like a very meaningful song. G's voice sounds so angelic and perfect for this. Love the chorus. Nami, Nami, wow. Her vocals are great in this song, like really great. I love this part of the course. Yuyan's vocals, amazing. Ooh, I like that, Suwa. Y'all heard that right? She on but these ad libs, man. That was like a journey, guys. That was. This isn't the type of song that I would, you know, jam to and listen to often. But when I get into the mood, this for sure is going to be on the top of that list. Because that was good. That was so amazing. Like, it was like a roller coaster ride. It, it, the, the vocal melodies to it. They all possess a different kind of tone, and it's like you know, I I hop on, I hop on the G U C, and I hear her 
angelic vocals then we jump over to dami i'm like what what dami you're taking me on a different ride because it's just they all have their own style and i can you can really hear how they sound and they just sound amazing in their own way and it fits perfectly with the song it's it's crazy how talented they are i'm just saying i'm not sure what skit the seven doors is and if it even has lyrics but let's take a look let's see if dreamcatcher skit the seven doors have lyrics i think it does no i don't think it has i don't think it has lyrics so let's listen to it beautiful Team Edenary for the win, guys. Just saying. This is so calm. I feel like they need to make this into a song. This is beautiful. This turned into a calming, uplifting song. I love this. Please tell me this is an intro to the next song. This is so good. Roller coaster ride of emotions, guys. This is crazy. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I, I'm aware that they they all had their own like solo in this album, and so this is gonna be super fun. Um, I I don't know what to expect, but I'm super excited though. So let's 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 put it in. Let's, let's look at the the lyrics unfortunately there's no lyrics here on the video so i'm gonna have to look up the lyrics english translation online all right so we got Jiu to start off leader Jiu, and yeah let's just get started in three two I really like this. This this one gives me a '90s pop vibe as well. This song is like. Loving it. I get it. Like a pair of cherries. Ooh, I heard a voice. Ooh. 
Jeez, so good. This is such a good song. This song... I'll wait until it ends. This is the kind of song that I feel like would put me in the mood to just... Like, like at a, on a 1pm... On a bit... Like, on, in, a, in a busy street, 1pm, just like... Just kind of like just walking around, jamming to this song. This, this makes me feel like... I don't know, just makes you feel happy makes you feel it's like feel like you want to be outdoors and just like just be happy in the world that's the feeling it gives me all right who is a sua solo sua solo no dots i don't know what that's about no dots no period no ending no ending dang it uh English translation. All right, let's check it out. We'll get started in three, two, one. This sounds like a Suwa song. This sounds like a Suwa song. These lyrics. This pre course is really good. And I'm already liking the whole song already. Oh, I really like this pre chorus build up. But I know it's gonna go crunk. Okay, okay. Dreamcatcher needs a concert soon. I can already imagine Siwa killing it on stage with this song. Okay, alright. was surprising me over and over but I'm not surprised either the song screams Suwa I love this build up because it's like feels good and uplifting and it kind of slows it down a little bit before it gets crunk all over again
I just I was busy reading it and then I'm like hearing her like hit that high note just now I'm like wait what? That was dope as crap. Um, I'm gonna say this is why sometimes I, if I focus on reading too much, I almost missed that. I almost missed missed that last note there. I'm glad I heard it though. I mean, I couldn't. You, there's no way I could have missed it. Like, if I no no matter how concentrated I am, hearing her hearing that just now from her. Oh my god! Like, dang. I don't even know what to expect from Xion now. I know they're amazing as a group and I know they're amazing individually, but man, their individual solo songs like is t like competing in the top space for me for with their group B-side song. I'm like like I don't know what anymore. I don't know which ones are my top songs anymore. I'm going to tell you guys right. <laughs> I'll tell you guys that right now like they have so many good songs for every mood. Like it's just, it's, it's great. Every single song is great, depending on which mood you're in. So you know what? I'm gonna leave it at that. I can't even pick a song anymore. I can't even pick a top three songs anymore. I'm just gonna say, no matter what mood I'm in, I will always have a favorite song from Dreamcatcher that will fit perfectly in that mood. All right. Sorry for further rant, on to the next song, Entrancing, starting in 3, 2, 1. It sounds like a straight anime rock intro, and I feel like that's, that's Shion right there. Has a bit of a cultural sound in there. So beautiful, oh my god. Sorry that I've been so quiet. I'm getting entranced into the song. I just realized the song's called Entrancing. I really didn't mean to say that. I really do feel entranced into the song. I really do. is beautiful.
That was so good, guys. That that's so beautiful. Um, yeah. Sorry, I was quiet for like such a long time because it's just my brain just felt like I was just like in there as I was reading it, and it was so good. Yeah. It almost reminds me of like of uh you know the era when they had lords and you know during that time frame um you know they have those you know those kind of movies you know the korean korean ones chinese ones japanese ones like during that time frame when they had like um the the lords and people that owns provinces and such like that they have like you know these shows and movies and this song feels like it just came straight out from one of those i i know maybe it's just me but that's what it sounds like and yeah i'm not saying it's bad either i actually like that type of music i love the song actually now now it's like you know i was listening to, after hearing all these songs so far i'm like i was checking off a list in my brain like what have they not covered yet it, it felt like they've covered like so many genres already it's like what else can they do you know i'm waiting for like a hardcore like hip-hop straight hip-hop kind of song like i mean even suwas is already kind of there but like you know it has some of those slower parts but i'm talking about like really like hard hard hitting and i'm thinking possibly dami might be there might be that uh who's this? Oh, her vo her vocals like her vocals is like nothing else like it's it's great i love her vocals i don't know how, what song she's how her song's gonna sound but i know i'm just gonna love it just based off of the vocals alone let's get this prepared we have the lyrics up right now mm. no english lyrics All right, so I'm going to take a water break real quick. One second. All right, I'm back. Let's uh, get started on winter. Handong's solo. We're going to start in three, two, one. Mm -hmm. With this type of music, I think it's really good for her because it will really I feel like it will really showcase her vocals a lot Her voice gives me shivers up to my spine. So good. song sounds like it's out of like a Korean drama. It's not a bad thing at all.
Mmm, I like that. Singing Chinese. Oh. That is cool. I like that. I like that they added that in at the end. That was so good. Oh man. <laughs> so this song reminds me of like, like a K-pop uh, song, kind of almost ba almost badly, but nothing wrong with it. Again, as I said. This whole album checks off different genres that, like, it, it knocks off every single different genres that you could even think of, like, and um, another thing I really like about this song and uh, like Han Dong's solo in particular for this, the song, is that I'm used to hearing her parts in Dreamcatcher's songs where it's like more of a stronger, bolder type of sound from her voice which is what i'm a bit more used to and i and i really like it but this is you know i really like this too because this is this shows more of her of a more of a softer tone almost like you know like a G, gu kind of soft tone you know um and it, it's cool because it just shows like how flexible her voice is you know it could be powerful bold could be soft um and loving you know i, I this is a really good song uh, uh and that in bit where she's singing in Chinese, like that is super cool. It is super cool. I really like it. And I hope I hope I am getting it right that it is Chinese because it sounded Chinese. Um, but but correct me if I'm wrong because it really did sound Chinese. All right, ooh, my bias, Yu Yun, and her solo. Can't wait for that. All right. Um. Let's see. Is this on English? Sorry, my voice got so high, but I am intrigued now. All right, Yuyun. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if she did sing in all English because her English is great. All right. Let's get started. Three, two, one. Hmm. Now this is the very jazzy song they haven't really done super, something that's super jazzy in this album yet So good. Love me more, love me more, oh, baby, please don't 
I like it when she sings Sick all of my love That high note Now this song feels like it's sticking it way back, and I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Gives me jazzy Christmas time, less Christmas time, but it's because it's just for me. I feel very jazzy during Christmas. I don't know why, and this is that's just kind of that's what happened. Um, again, I didn't think that they can keep on adding to my list of different genres that they are knocking out in this album, but they are keep adding on what else can they do they are so versatile i'm just gonna say that they are one of the most if not the most versatile girl group in in k-pop right now and i'm it just you know like just the way that they can change up their vocals and be it just it just they they can sing okay they can do all sorts of genres right their choreography and dancing is like always on point they're always together sharp everything you know they always give it their all on their all their performances like there's really there's i don't see much that they cannot do they are so good they are they're really really good and i'm so glad they got their win this is their second full featured album and i'm loving it so far you know and i don't ex I think I'm gonna just love the whole thing to be honest. I don't think there's nothing that I do not like at all from it. So uh, let's put in be Beauty Full from Donnie. Um, interesting. Be Beauty Full. So it's like uh, she, you feel full. She feels full of beauty. I think that's what she's going for. Um, no idea so we're just gonna try to hear it out and again i don't know what other kind of genre they can pull out but now i'm expecting this to be like a whole different genre that i'm not even gonna expect from dami we'll see okay rock okay <laughs> all right that's a safe that's a good choice that's a good choice that's safe <laughs> i shouldn't have you know you know i should have expected another rock song because if you really heard all their songs in the whole album, so far, only May, May song. Alright, I gotta pause this just to say this. In all the times I've heard, heard Dami sing, like, it, they weren't like a rock type of voice, vocal, vocally voice. Like, a lot of it were, you know, like the higher higher softer type sounds or parts of the songs and stuff but this is like rocked out dami all right i'm i'm excited let's go let's continue Yeah, 
Yo, she is perfect for the song. Ooh, slowing it down for us. Mm. Oh, at the end she said, I'm beautiful rather than so beautiful. It's a good song. It's a really good song. Very positive song. Um, I think Dami did amazing. Like, I'm not saying the others didn't do amazing in their in their parts, but I really feel like Dami. This is like second nature to her. I mean, I mean, of course, she's been Dreamcatcher. Of course, you know they focus on rock. Of course, but it's just you know she wasn't always singing, right? Um, up until in the past, you know, two years or something, as far as I knew, um, like she didn't s sing in their songs, um, but here you got her singing to the rock songs and rapping. But the the thing is, the rock the the rap more is almost kind of like singing rap. It just flowed so well with the rock, and I don't know. It this this song just felt so perfect to her for her like. Uh, like I, I i i couldn't have thought of any other genre that dami would be perfect for but this is this is perfect this is super perfect um let, uh man i don't know what i'm saying anymore <laughs> all right let's go check out ga gayon's uh playground dreamcatcher playground lyrics English translation, guys. All right. All right. Let's get started in three, two, one. like a modern day pop song yes she sounds great here by the way I like that part. I 
I really like this song a lot. Break it down for us. That was good. I'm, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave this playing. Oh man, alright. You know what? I really like Galeon's song there. It's, um, I, like the way that she sings, like the style that she sings in that song sounds different than what I've heard her sing in the past. Um, I mean, maybe because, you know, this is. This song is like a whole different style of a song that they haven't really sang um, before. And if the, even if they did, I, I can't really think of it right now, but even if they did, um, Galeon didn't get as many parts, of course, because, you know, they sang as a group. So you didn't really get to f get a full experience of how she would have stylized the song. But with this song, you know, it's it's a whole different like style and I really enjoy it. Like I'm, a lot of the times I was like, whoa, is this really Galeon? Really? You know, it, oh my god, um, I don't want to, I don't want to drag this on too long because it's like an hour or something at this point. Um, I'm gonna have to cut up as much as I can, but, yo, Dreamcatcher, this album is amazing. Not a single song I dislike. Every song has a mood to it. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Glad that they got first. Let's keep voting, keep streaming. Let's get them another win. Get them as many wins as possible because they need as many wins as they can because they deserve it. They really do. They work hard as crap. All right, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.